Hi everyone, this is Joe from MicroNicheFinderB.com. I uh, thought it would be, I think it's, it's about time to do a, a video tutorial or overview of uh, MicroNicheFinder just so people can see exactly what they're getting. I know r reviews are good, screenshots are good, but nothing really tells you what you're getting like a video. Uh, a video testimonial overview, whatever you want to call it. Uh, so, let's uh, just get started since there's a bit to cover here. Alright, this is the home page of uh, Micro Niche Finder. It's uh, the page you'll go to when you first fire up the software. And over here you'll have important announcements. It's uh, here are your keyword and search uh, statistics. This is where, you know, you'd see how many saved searches you have and how many results. You have uh, the different program settings and options over here. Um, this is, so you have the search settings, data settings, internet settings, search engine courtesy, backlink settings, and uh, your AdWords login. Okay, so, yeah, all of this would become more familiar to you once you, uh, once you purchase it. I'll, I'll give you a quick uh, overview here. Uh, this is what you would get when you do a search within Micro Niche Finder. Um, so you have your search options here. You can only show ideas containing your exact search terms, which means that's exactly what you'll get. You'll get results for uh, your search term, and that's it. You can include adult uh, content in your searches or not. I don't own any adult websites, so I haven't had any uh, use for that, so I usually just keep it off. If you're, whatever your language is, you can change it here. Um, and as you can tell, mine is English. Uh, and you can target whatever countries or territories you want. You know, it's usually set to all countries and territories, but if for some reason you're only targeting a specific country, then uh, you, can, uh, you can set it to that. All right. When a page, when the results page loads, you have the option to show the broad results, the exact results, or the phrase results, and you can, uh, however you want them sorted here. You know, you can go by result phrase. You know, that would be an alphabetical. Uh, you go to local search count, global search count, phrase count, whatever, whatever you want to set it to, uh, and however you want to set it to, ascending or descending, and. Uh, you know, you can uh, hide results in all tabs if you want to. Okay, so data settings, that's just where you want your files stored on your hard drive. Internet settings, you know, that's pretty self-explanatory too. You can just use the Internet Explorer settings uh, if you're using a proxy server. You know, I don't, I don't bother with any of that, so it's just easier to use the, that. Search engine courtesy just means uh, how long you want to wait for each result to come back. So, you know, some of these are, are a little uh, trickier than others. Domain availability, it usually doesn't matter. You can keep that number low. The broader exact counts, you can, you can keep that number somewhere low. Uh, I have it set at 15. I might want to change that soon, though. Strength of competition, you want to keep that a little on, uh, uh, on the higher side, just because that can be easily blocked. Your measure of backlinks, that can also be easily uh, blocked as well if you're going through Yahoo. But for Majestic SEO, it's, it's not as bad. Okay. So your backlink settings, this is just how many uh, for the measure of backlinks calculation. You can use Majestic SEO or Yahoo Site Explorer. Uh, Yahoo Site Explorer is supposed to shut down soon, so, uh, well, at least in the near future, no one, no one really knows when. And this is your AdWords login settings, which is just, you know, whatever, whatever you use to log into, um, to uh, Google AdWords. Okay, so that's that. And uh, you have the same, the same things are up here as well. You, know, you have the search terms and adult ideas, targeted country, and language. Uh, as well as up here, you can go to the home page. You can manage your searches, manage projects, manage background queue, uh, your domain list, which is whatever domains you might want to purchase that are available. Uh, that you click there for technical support, and you can click there to uh, 
close all tabs. Over here we have on the options menu we can uh, create a new project from here which is just you know group your related keywords from different